Hello, Jure Portugai. Hello. Welcome to this interview. How are you today? I'm feeling very well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about you. Where do you come from? Where do you live? And so on. So I'm uh, from Slovenia and uh, I uh, came here last week to do the role of Don Giovanni. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, how, do you, how do you feel to be in a city like Vienna at this time of the year? Oh yeah, it's a great privilege to uh, perform here the title role of Don Giovanni and also the avenues are incredible so i'm really privileged to be here mm -hmm. yeah okay. uh thinking about this this whole workshop in in vienna um we have all in common now the covid problem the yeah. corona virus uh, do you think it makes a difference because all the theaters are closed for ages that people are are quite hungry to get some culture uh, i'm sure i mean everybody's hungry for for culture i am i mean the situation for artists is uh, very bad. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's the best word to describe it. So I hope uh, that soon it changes. Mm -hmm. You know, also the work, uh, we cannot do really staging for Don Giovanni, mm -hmm. which I think it's an opera that's very physical. So we cannot do that. We have to do everything with uh, singing and our expression. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's say this production this year will be special. And for all the people who were able to get the ticket, uh, they're, they're going to get uh, some unforgettable experience. Okay. How is this workshop running? What is, what is going on? Just explain to us one day in this workshop. Yeah, so uh, we got an opportunity to sing for agents. Uh, we can work with Jesus, who invited me to sing Giovanni here. Um, so there are some vocal coaches. There was a master class with uh, Vladimir Chernov. Who I actually studied in uh, Los Angeles to my f to do my masters, and I was so happy to see him after one year. Mm -hmm. um, then uh, regularly, I mean, we we are doing the recitativo recits because there is so much in Giovanni uh, and uh, musical rehearsals, like uh, one on one uh, with the conductor or the whole ensemble just gathers. And okay. now we are in the final stage uh, that we have to put it. Uh, together for our first uh, performance this Saturday uh, in Mozart House. Being in Mozart House, it's something special for you? And this is historic place in Vienna? Yes, uh, I'm again very happy, satisfied and privileged to, to sing Giovanni in Vienna and to sing in Mozart House and then next week in uh, Eschenbach. So I, it's hard to describe what it means for an opera singer uh, to, to experience these beautiful things. And you know it could be a, a worldwide career because also Don Giovanni was the, the opening of the state opera 150 years ago in Vienna. So that's also a target it's, to reach. It's amazing. Okay. However, in the Mozart house he was writing uh, the, the Le Nozze di Figaro, I think, but uh, maybe next year. Okay. Yeah. What, what are your goals after this workshop in your career? What, what, what are you going to do? So uh, it depends on the situation, but I already uh, have some contracts. So in the Slovene National Theatre Ljubljana, I will sing in uh, Il Trovatore. So the main role, uh, baritone role, Il Conte di, di Luna. Uh, we are repeating Luisa Miller and I hope uh, because uh, Il Barbera di Sevilla was cancelled that I will uh, get a chance to sing it uh, also. Uh, and I have another project. Uh, I'm singing solo with orchestra, so I hope because this year was cancelled my Saint Tropez, uh, and I hope that next year I go to Saint Tropez and four uh, dates in Serbia, and we also hope to get some uh, performances in Austria. That's outside of my country. Otherwise, I'm performing quite a lot in Slovenia, and I'm very lucky that even the times of uh, Corona like at least two or even three, even three performances per month I could get, get through. Uh, Sounds like a busy plan for you. Yeah. Okay, a, lo a lot of people think when they hear uh, opera, uh, these people are just singing uh, at home, singing in, in their office where they learn their roles and then they are on stage, well-dressed, people love them and they get rich. Yeah. What, what is the thing you don't like about being an opera singer? Uh, what, do you find, <laughs> what do you find difficult? Difficult is, uh, it's a really difficult work. Uh, singing a, a good role 
as Don Giovanni, it's, uh, I mean, people of course don't know that and they should enjoy when they come to performances. But for an opera singer, it's a big challenge to find all the colors, all the expression, get really close to the, the character and then staying as faithful as they can to the, to the composer. It's a great challenge and I think it's a lifetime work. It doesn't stop anywhere. It's, and you don't know where you will be next year, especially in these times. When you think about your career so far, was there any any moment you think that was an embarrassing thing for you? Where you thought, oh my God, this happened? I don't find uh, like, uh, no, I think what could be embarrassing? I, I don't know. We are happy if there was nothing. Don't worry no, about no, this. <laughs> no, I mean, there are things like that are really fun that you can do in theater. Sometimes people don't see and... Uh, Let's say we did our Carmen production many years ago. I was singing Morales and we brought flowers to all the girls. All uh, I was singing Pink in Turandot and I brought this hat to the tenor be just before the aria he sang. And it was just, you know, there are some things that happen on stage that are unforgettable. Okay, yeah. okay. thank you very much. Jure, we wish you an exciting and also a successful rest of this workshop in Vienna. And of course, a wonderful career going on in this life. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.